what's up guys hope you're having an amazing day welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i did something like this i'm actually kind of like uh self-aware a little bit because i haven't vlogged in a very long time but there is a photo that i took uh back in 2019 uh which is the skyline of columbus and i've been wanting to kind of recreate that photo so i decided today to come out in the morning when i woke up i was hoping for nice weather because i knew i wanted to come do the photo today and then it started raining and then the rain stopped and the weather the the, the sky looked very beautiful and i was very optimistic about the photo that i wanted to take but now it's kind of overcast and even though the sunset is kind of looking nice still if you look behind me here um but there isn't much light but i'm hoping that maybe it turns out great but we'll see um i'm going to be taking black and white again basically just going to retake the same photo that i took back in 2019. also this is my first time vlogging on the st5 so i don't know how it's gonna look i don't know how it's gonna sound it's a little bit loud around here. Um, so hopefully the mic is picking up my voice better. If not, um, I might just do uh, a voiceover when I get home. But we are about to cross over. So that bridge over there, which is the railway, um, that is where I stood to take the photo. I'm about to go back there again. It was a little bit tricky. The first time I took it, I was with my friend. And um, the, the, the position that I took the photo from, I don't know if it's still available. I don't know if I can still make it down there to take the photo, but we will see. So let's head over and hopefully we are able to take the photo again. We will see. All right, I don't know if you guys can see, but right there is where i stood and took the photo of the skyline over here with this bridge in it so we will see how that turns out but i have to go walk all the way here all the way to come up the railway and then come up right there so we will see how that um turns out I am in the location. I won't lie to you. I'm kind of terrified right here because it's been a long time that I came out here. And like I said, the first time I was with a friend. Today I'm with Anna, but still, um, kind of terrified because I'm also afraid of height and where I'm at right now uh, it's not the safest I'm only doing this for the photo I'm not the type of person that tries to um, break away too much loss to make photos but um, this one is kind of worth it so I'm gonna run rush through this and take the photo as quick as I can and then get out of here Say hello to the camera.
as you can see from when we started the video so now it's pretty dark right now so i'm kind of using this light here to light my face i hope it looks good anna is behind the camera trying to make sure that i'm in frame other than that um i had fun I, I haven't done this in a very long time and i actually really enjoyed it the photo that i came out to take you guys have already seen the photos that i took earlier on but as we were walking back to our car this bridge that i'm sitting on right now i have been trying to get a black and white photo on here for a very long time I had a specific image in mind and i think i got it tonight so we will see um as soon as i leave here going back home going to edit all these photos and again you guys have already seen it but i'm going to give my afterthought and how i felt about the photos that i took because that is the only time that i will see the final result so let's head back to the studio and edit the photos take a look at them and i'll share my thoughts and what i think was it a success did i fail do I have to come back again and do it? Or maybe I don't have to and then we can move on on to the next photo. But I hope you enjoy it. Let's get back to the studio. And we are back in the office. Um, I have been editing these photos since last night. Um, I actually kind of selected, edited the photos merged the panels together and did all of that last night and then this morning i connected it to my bigger screen so i will be able to see and clean up the images because that river looked pretty dirty so it needed some cleaning um so i did that um so yeah you guys have already seen the photos but i am seeing it after I've, after you guys have seen it and um it looks pretty good it looks it looks really 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 good i'm very happy um however the sky i didn't get the sky um uh, like how i envisioned it how i wanted it when i woke up in the morning like i mentioned previously uh the weather looks great and then it started raining and then it went overcast and then when sunset was happening we got a little bit of clear sky and then it got it it just like kept changing and i'm really even surprised like how much details and you know um clouds and and like blue sky that i got a little bit and some color in the sky i thought it was just gonna be gray um but i did get some color in there and it actually looks pretty good so yeah i'm very happy um, taking going back to 2019 and taking that photo that I took that I have really really loved um, I submitted it into like um, an art show it got in um, I I've made some money off that print and then now I'm going back five years later to recreate the same photo um, seeing the different results that I got and also like you know back then i i still had a little bit of experience creating the images but i feel like now i have gained even more experience and maybe better camera because the last one was taken with the canon 60 mark ii which was a dslr camera it's a great camera i think it was a 26.1 megapixel and then it but it was full frame though and then now in 2024 uh, went back with the Fuji ST5, which is a 40 megapixel, but also crop sensor. So I'm actually kind of, kind of blown away uh, with how much the Fuji was able to work because some of the images I kind of underexposed it, so I can you know expose for the sky and then bringing it back in post. I yeah, really really happy with the results, the details in. In the images is very very amazing um i mean again it's a crop sensor but you're getting that 40 megapixels and um, i'm very excited and happy to print this image i'm planning on printing uh this one image right here this is like 
the money shot right here this is the one that i really went out to get and i got exactly what i wanted i think i might go back again i was talking to my friend dave and we were talking about you know megapixels and cameras and all that if i want to rent the leica q3 um, and then take it back there and create the photo and see how i'm gonna like it because this was taken out wide um the 16 i have the fuji uh, 16 to 55 lens and I shot this mostly at um, 16 and there is just a few photos that I kind of zoomed in a little bit just to get a little tight just something different but other than that most of most of it was shot at 16 uh, millimeters um, and I really love it you know talking about the like a q3 uh that is a 28 and based on videos that i've watched and stuff that i've read online people are saying it's more to the wider side close to 24 than a 28 i'll be very interested and very interesting to see um how that will render and how that will you know capture this photograph i don't know we'll see my friend dave has the like a q2 monochrome i've told him um, if you will let me I will borrow it for a week and you know just go out there and take some photos and see and compare the results with my XT5 so we'll see and then also um, the images that I took after taking the skyline photo the black and white like I said uh, in the video when I was done and sat on that chair or on that bench um, it's been a photo that I've had in mind I mean I don't know if it's exactly there's there's something missing in this image and I don't know what it is. I just cannot put my finger on it or my hands on it. I don't know if it's like I'm, I'm expecting like a dramatic sky, you know, even though I've, I've been, you know, envisioning it in black and white and not in color. So I don't know. I'll have to keep going back again, which is a good thing when you have that to help you go out now and then. Um, because if you sit at home and you try to guess what the weather is gonna be like you might miss out so you know going out there having your camera with you being ready for whatever comes your way because we live in Ohio and you never know what this weather is gonna come or bring um, but I do like the photos that I took on uh, yesterday uh, those black and white um, I took a few and it's a it's a bridge that people kind of you know take a stroll and you know jog on so there were a few people going back and forth and I tried to get people in it um, but I love them I would say I like them but I could do better I could I could keep going back and seeing what I can get even composition wise I, I feel like there is still a lot that I could learn from you know the angles and the bridge and the arch and all that so yeah um, I really like the photos, um, but I definitely want to go back again and see what I can get. Well, I don't want to talk too much. I feel like I'm talking too much, but I'm very happy with the results. If you haven't done this before, please do, you know, go back to locations that you've shot before, reshoot it again. You know, sometimes you get different conditions. Um, you know, Columbus is changing and it's growing. The skyline haven't changed much, but there's few things that have been added on that is different from when I took the photo back in 2019 so revisit locations retake photos see how much you've grown how far you've come and just experiment and have fun with it and this is what I did today or uh, yesterday um, so yeah thanks for watching I really appreciate you um, I didn't really know how this video was gonna go but I'm so far very happy um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog style um, it was it was very fun doing it again because I haven't done it in a very long time so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do the small videos and photos coming up um, that I want to share with you all and check out my website kboateng.com to see you know my portfolio and works that most of the time I don't show on here on YouTube or even maybe Instagram. Um, check out Cabana Magazine. We we'll really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye bye.